Okay, thank you, thank you. Well, hello everyone, and thanks for joining us here this evening uh, for this event. I can't tell you how excited I am to be here, but I'm gonna try anyway, so uh, give me a chance. Um, for all of us involved with this program uh, and this brand, it's like a dream come true to finally unveil the Celestic. A true flagship for the brand is what Cadillac has needed for a long time, and I cannot conceive of a better one than this vehicle right here. It's a true American icon, handcrafted, as you've heard, each one tailored to its individual client. It really means a lot to us and to me to show it to you tonight. I've been with the company literally all my life. I grew up in a General Motors household and my father worked for the company, also holding the office of president. And he would bring me to work with him when I was a kid and every time it was like a field trip. And all the new cars and test cars he would bring home, I'd just be as wide-eyed as I am tonight every time he pulled one into the driveway. I've probably driven almost every GM vehicle has developed over the past four decades or longer if you count the ones I drove before I got my driver's license. But I've never driven anything like the Celestic before and neither has anybody else except for the drivers on this development team. It's truly one of a kind and it always will be because there's only one car that's ever going to be the first all electric flagship vehicle leading the most storied brand in automotive history squarely into a very exciting future. As Rory and Mary indicated, this is what Cadillac is all about. It's a brand that's growing and hurtling headlong into an all electric future. The pump is already primed with the incredible Lyric and many more EVs to come will carry the Cadillac badge. And Celestic will ride atop them all, embodying the ideals of the brand, offering no compromises, giving no quarter, taking no prisoners. Now you've heard about the design details from Michael and Lenny. I just want to add to this, the vehicle is also a technological tour de force. To create this unique, expressive flagship, the selected engineering team rethought the fundamental building blocks of an automobile, resulting in the most technically advanced Cadillac ever. They were given an opportunity to not only accommodate its all-electric propulsion system, but also provide a platform for the ultimate expression of ultra-luxury and unmatched client customization. That required an all-new vehicle architecture dedicated to Celestic. It's based on our Ultium platform, which integrates the system's battery pack and serves as a structural element of the vehicle, contributing to its overall strength, durability, and performance. Ultium allows us to hit all the numbers, an estimated 600 horsepower, 640 foot-pounds of torque, 300 miles of range, and it also allows us to equip Celestic with unbelievable technology as well. Let me just hit three of the highlights I'm talking about here. An industry-first fixed smart glass roof that uses four-zone suspended particle device technology allowing each passenger to customize the amount of light entering the cabin over the roof. You can see it in the gallery uh, outside here if you're interested in looking what that is. It's really an industry first. Impressive lighting choreography that welcomes the driver upon approach. You saw a little bit of that here when the car drove out, but let me tell you, the light show is spectacular when you drive up to it. On the inside, the centerpiece of the infotainment experience is a pillar-to-pillar 55-inch -pillar HD display, the largest in the segment. Did I say three? Let's make it four, because I have to mention Ultra Cruise, the next advancement in Cadillac's hands-free driver assist system and a game changer for this technology. I could go on and on, but there's still one more thing I need to mention. It has less to do with technology and more to do with beauty, soul, and magic. And that's the return of the Cadillac goddess to Celestic. Beginning in 1930, the goddess appeared in various forms and figures on some of the most exclusive Cadillacs in history and was last seen on a production car in 1959. Thanks to Michael Simcoe and his extremely talented sculpting team, the beautiful flowing form of the Cadillac goddess adorns both the exterior and the interior of the Celestic, a car worthy of her return to the throne because she is magical just like this car. And by the way, there's a bronze statue of her by one of our sculptors, again, out in the gallery that, that Roy mentioned earlier, so please check it out. It is very special. Uh, it's like nothing I've ever seen. 
Honestly, I could go on all night about this car, but I promise I won't. But if anyone wants to talk about additive manufacturing, mega castings, or flex fabrication, come find me later. I know it's pretty, pretty awesome stuff, but um, there's some great engineers in the room too, Tony and, and Brandon and the whole team. The best part of all this, there's a lot of good parts and that most of these features and design elements will find their way into the next generation and future Cadillacs. So a glimpse at Celestic is really a look into the future and I'm thrilled we could share it with you here tonight. Just like every surface on this car and the sculpting that went into it and the engineering and the technological advancement, it's touched by human hands. And that's what Cadillac's all about. So thank you very much. And now I'd like to invite you up to take a closer look at Cadillac's future. So enjoy the rest of the meeting, everybody, and thank you.